Preemptive frames was a new feature introduced in version 1.15 of RetroArch, and it's a new alternative to Runahead, which aims to drastically reduce input latency. Runahead, however, already did a fantastic job, but Preemptive frames is billed as being better than Runahead. So firstly, I'm going to show you how you can detect how much input latency your game might have. So the first thing to do is load up a game in RetroArch. Then once you've done that, press P on your keyboard to pause the emulation. So currently I have Sonic 3 loaded, and in order to test latency, I'm going to see how many frames it takes for the jump button to be reflected on the screen. So right now, I'm going to keep hold of the jump button, and then on the keyboard, I'm going to press K to advance one frame and there's no change on screen. And I'm going to press K once more to advance another frame. Still no jump animation on screen. And I'm going to press K a third time to advance another frame. And there we go, the jump animation has begun. So I had to advance three frames and on the third frame, the jump animation was reflected. So that's two frames of input latency. Now let's activate preemptive frames and see if we can get rid of that latency. So do that by pressing F1 on your keyboard and then go to the main menu, go to settings, go to latency, and then go down to preemptive frames. If you do have run ahead enabled right now, I suggest you switch that off. So let's enable run preemptive frames and then below it where it says number of preemptive frames, if we change that to two and press F1 to go back to your game. Now let's try that again. So I'll press P to pause the emulation, keep hold of the jump button and then press K to advance one frame. And there we go. The jump animation has started straight away. As you can tell, preemptive frames works very well. Just keep in mind that the number of frames we detected can vary from game to game and from core to core. So ideally, you'd need to repeat this process for each game you're playing. Mm -hmm.